Hi, this is Eric. Uh, for Vlogmas, we're going to give a tour of our recording studio. So come on this way. Let me show you what I've got here. This looks like a really complicated rig, uh, and it is, but it's only because it was a bunch of old musical equipment that I used to use. So if you're going to do this yourself, you don't need to go out and get all these pieces. But I just wanted to explain to you what we have. We start with um, our microphones. Uh, these are Shure SM57 microphones, and I use them for vocals and for musical things for years. They're indestructible, and they sound pretty good. Megan's setup here has a pop filter as well as a windscreen because Megan tends to be a little bit plosive with her peas, and so we don't want that to happen. So this is connected in this particular way and set up su as such for Megan. This has moved back a bit, but we can fix that. Megan's mic goes directly into this unit here. This is a Focusrite digital audio input where you take analog audio from microphones, put it into here, and this changes it into a digital signal which goes into USB, which goes into uh, my computer to do the recording. I, on the other hand, have problems with noisy breathing <sighs> in between just sitting, sentences, whatever. So my microphone has to go through a more complicated setup. Come around, let me show you. Here we have a Autocom Pro compressor expander noise gate unit. This is a, uh, an audio compressor and I don't really use it for its compression as much as I use it for its noise gate. Having a noise gate on your microphone, a live noise gate, is really useful because it cuts out all of the noise in between your vocal part. If you're speaking loudly and clearly into the microphone, everything works out great because as soon as you stop, it mutes everything that's coming through the microphone that's not at a certain loudness level. So my microphone, after going through the uh, compressor expander noise gate here gets plugged in out of the expander compressor noise gate into channel one of the focus right and then I have my own set of cans these are closed back cans uh, earphones and um, these are V Moda which are very nice uh, closed back earphones more for listening to music than for studio monitoring but they work really great for both so that's that's how my setup works. Megan's setup is a little bit more uh, basic. Her line goes directly in, her microphone goes directly into the focus, right? And she's in channel two, and she's listening on uh, stereo channel two with the uh, Sony MDR headphones, MDR 7506. These are awesome headphones. Everybody should have them. They're about 100 bucks, but they're totally worth it for anything. So you have that all set up. There's a gain switch on here that uh, turns up the sensitivity to uh, an appropriate level. There are output switches here so you, you can turn up the volume on your own earphones. Something might sound too loud to you, something might sound too soft, you can turn up your own volume. And then all of this just goes via USB into Audacity, which I have here. And here's Audacity and you can see, here's my microphone. And you can see I'm getting a nice signal on here. Megan's microphone not having a noise gate picks up a tiny little bit when I'm speaking, but not too much. Vice versa, when Megan's talking, my mic picks up almost absolutely, completely nothing. So in another episode, we might go into more detail about the settings that I use on Audacity to get the kind of sound we get from our podcast. So I hope this was enlightening, and I hope it was somewhat entertaining to you to see our wonderful studio here.